here for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. This is a special video because June 8th is World Oceans Day. It's celebrated every year, so I figured I would celebrate with a video for you. I'm gonna share some really interesting ocean facts and then I'm gonna give you five different ways that you can help protect and promote the ocean in the things that you do for your aquarium. So let's get started with my three fun facts. Number one, did you know that the Great Barrier Reef can be seen from outer space? It's 2,600 kilometers long and is home to a huge amount of biodiversity. If you're ever in that area, I highly recommend taking a dive trip and going to explore it. Second thing that I wanted to share with you is that the World Register of Marine Species, aka worms, it's a free database online that you can access tells us that there are more than 240,000 registered and known marine species that exist in our oceans today. Now that number is growing every single day as scientists go and check off and um, do their research on these, but you can use it as a resource. It contains any of those scientific names, but also any of the common names that might be tossed around, as well as gives you some information about the species, habitats, and where you can find them in the world. Did you know that 95% of the species in the worms database are actually invertebrates? How crazy is that? You know, typically we think fish are the prime things in our tanks and those corals, but a lot of species like those worms and different sort of crabs and shrimp um, make up the vast majority of species. All right, fun fact number three is that the average depth of the ocean is two miles deep. Now the deepest part of the ocean, the Mariana Trench, is seven miles. Now, we don't know a lot because those environments are super extreme and it's hard to get down there to study them. And would you believe that we have only studied and explored 5% of the world's oceans? It's pretty impressive to think that we know so much, but we really don't know that much at all and there's so much more to be explored. Now, I'm curious to know what your favorite ocean fact is. Leave a comment below in this video and let me know. Now I'm gonna tell you about five different things that you can do to help support the ocean as you are keeping and taking your aquariums. Now the first one is one that you probably have heard me say before, and that is buy captive bred. Support captive bred um, companies whenever you can. One, this is gonna ensure that you're gonna have healthier fish that are already eating right off the bat, but it also reduces the strain on wild populations. There are some companies out there that even as they are producing fish for the aquarium industry, they're also putting fish back into their native ecosystems and helping to support the local populations that they come from. Now, the second thing that you can do to help support the ocean, if you have an RODI unit at home and you're making your own water, why not use that wastewater to help water your plants? Something that I do here in the desert and my cactuses and the rest of my garden absolutely loves it and I don't feel so guilty about just dumping that water out. All right, the next thing that you can do to help support the ocean is doing your research. Now, I know I say this all the time, but if you're doing your research, you're gonna know what's compatible and what will work, and you're gonna have fewer mortalities, which means that you have to buy fewer fish and corals for your tank, thus reducing the strain on those wild populations. All right, now the next thing that you can do when it comes to um, helping to support the ocean is to support companies that support the ocean. Companies like Vivid Creative Aquatics are transitioning the plastics that they use in their products to recycled plastics. Other companies like Reef Breeders are partnering with organizations like the Coral Restoration Foundation and donating a portion of sales from specific items to those foundations to help support coral research. Now the last thing you can do, and it's probably um, easier depending on where you live, is to buy locally. If you have a friend that is breeding fish or if you have a friend that is growing corals, why not try and uh, purchase from them or even trade from them? Again, this is another way that we can reduce the strains on the wild population and reduce our carbon footprint at the same time. All right, this has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching and happy World Ocean Day.